Hey guys, this is Mon Def, and I'm here at the KFC still. We're not going to spend all episode here, we will be heading back to my home, but I wanted to take a quick look down here. Mally and I have started building roads for Spawn City! Because us on this Beta Earthos server here will be starting a build contest. Uh, here's how this will work. Everyone on the server who wants will be able to build a house this month. We'll have a month to build it, and then at the end of the month, we'll do a walkthrough and give you all a chance to see everybody's builds. Keep in mind, we are in survival. We are... Um, everything is 100% legit, but this is a build contest. It's about looks. It's about who can make the best looking house. So that's what we'll be going for, and at the end we'll do the walkthrough, we'll let you guys vote, and uh, you guys pick the winner, and that person will get a mob head yet to be determined. Not sure if I'm going to be getting Skelly, Creeper, or Zombie. Probably Zombie, since this will be the first one. Look, it's Mickey! Hello, Mickey! Hello! He can't hear me. Haha. <laughs> Teamwork! Okay. Um, so that's that. On the other side, we're going to hold a second competition. The second competition is for you guys! We are looking for one to two more players for our server. Uh, we're just looking for fun people to play with. You don't necessarily have to be able to record. That's not uh, important to us. We're just looking for fun people with um, that we can have fun with on the server. So uh, that's what we're looking for. Here's how you enter. And you also have a month. So once we start voting for um, whose house is the best, on the server, people on the server will be voting for who we want to bring on board the server. So if you want to enter, you can enter two separate ways. Way number one is you make a video and you answer these questions and I'll answer them as I ask them. So the first question is, what can you bring to the server? And uh, my answer for that is, I bring the server host. Not lost, just kidding, no. I consider myself a pretty good builder and um, I, I have a lot of creativity, I think. I bring that to the server, so, um, you know. Uh, also, dedication, and, and uh, I can spend a lot of time here and really spend the time uh, necessary to really make the community work. So, that's what I bring to the server. All right. Second question. Describe your yourself and or your per Minecraft playing style. Um, I am a 20-something-year-old dude who plays with his wife, who sits next to him. Mally tracks. We like to build together. We like building huge, ridiculous stuff and not paying attention to what's around us. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see. What is your Minecraft name? Mine is Mon Def. Will I be recording? That's the next question. Will you be recording? The answer for that is yes. I will be recording lots and lots and lots. And hopefully you guys are watching this. And if you're not, then you'd never know that this is happening. And then lastly, how much time do you spend playing Minecraft and or other games? Um, specifically, I'm interested in Minecraft. If you want to mention other games too, feel free. But um, I want to know how long you spend playing Minecraft. I spend way too long playing Minecraft. <laughs> uh, realistically, I probably spend somewhere between 30 to 50 hours a week playing Minecraft. Yeah. I'm ashamed of myself. I spend too long playing Minecraft. Anyway, that is... Those are the questions that will be in the video description. Way number one, make a video, respond to this video with your video, explaining and answering those questions. And if you are making a video, visuals matter. <laughs> so if you are... Um, if you're making a video, I expect that um, you're showing me your builds too. Um, so I want to see what you guys have built, what uh, you will be building. I forgot to grab saplings before I come up here. What you guys will be building, um, what you're working on, what you've already done. Um, I'd love to see that kind of stuff from you guys. Because um, I want to see what you guys are capable of before I bring you on the server. The other way to apply, if you're not going to be making videos, which is fine, doesn't affect your application at all, is to respond to me in a private message on YouTube with your answers to my question and to also tweet at me 
pictures of some of your builds. I need both of those things. Um, and then don't worry, I'll make sure the other people on the server get to see it. And um, they all follow me on Twitter too. My Twitter name is MondefLP, so you can find me there. Um, even if you're not going to try to join the server, um, MondefLP, all my videos uploads go there. And my conversations with other YouTubers and stuff is typically through there. So if you want to get into that kind of info, follow me on Twitter. Um, that's it for that portion of the video. As you can see, I'm farming some wood. Mally and I are about out of wood, and we have a project today that's going to include building with a bunch of wood. So, um, we're going to keep uh, cutting down some trees, and uh, I'll get back to you once we have enough wood. And I finally made it home. It only took me a whole day. Yeah, the Minecraft login servers went down yesterday. And so Melly and I couldn't get back onto our server, and so, yeah. Sorry, it's the next day. What were we talking about? Huh? Uh, oh yeah, I was getting wood. We have lots of wood now. Um, we got a build, little build station down here. Um, we started a bit of construction. We set up a basic frame. Here's all this wood and a few kind of extras. As you can see, the frame's out in the water, which means you might guess what we're building. It's going to be a boat. So we're going to get working on the boat, um, set up the basic shape, and then I'll show you what that shape looks like. And the frame's done. Um, you might be able to tell what kind of boat it is going to be now, I guess, ship. It's bigger than just a small little boat. It's a ship. Um, it's going to be a little Viking ship, kind of a Viking long ship. Um, so we've got the whole frame up. Our next step is going to be to fill in the whole. Um, I don't know what that part of the ship is called. Shell? I don't know. The part that makes it float. Yeah, that part of it. So we're going to fill in the rest of the shape all the way around. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. There's that air screen, I just never read it. The shell is now complete. Uh, now we will move on to details. That will make the ship look more like a ship. Um, I'll show you the inside. We also emptied the water out from the inside. So it's all dry. Which is cool. Next step, we'll be adding uh, three details. The first will be the deck, so we'll put lay the deck in. The second are some embellishments that sit here on the edge. Of course, Viking ships have these, you know, the dragon heads or the spirally things. So we'll be adding an embellishment, and we'll also be adding the mast. So that's what we'll be getting to work on. None of these are crazy difficult. I might show you how. Um, one of these goes, one of these little spirally dragon things. Melly's worked it out in a creative world, so she'll probably be building it. So I might maybe time lapse her building it so you guys can get an idea of how she constructs it. Um, anyway, uh, I will show you once those three details are done. Alright, and we're back. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. The whole shape is in place. And uh, now the Trex's face is in my face. I'm inside of her face. Alright, um, next we're going to add some details. Of course it needs a sail, so we'll do that. We'll add a sail. Um, if we look at the side of the shell here, 
It looks kind of flat and boring, so it probably needs like a, a stripe. Uh, we, we also have stairs, so we might try to round out these edges. Um, so we'll do that with some stairs and um, any other details that we think it might need. Um, some fence posts on top of the mast, perhaps. So we'll get to adding some details, and then uh, we'll maybe go have some SMP fun. Go uh, chill with uh, Mickey, said he's coming back here in a minute. Maybe we'll go chill with Mickey for a while. Anyway, back to work. Work, work. And our boat is done! Our boat. I called it a boat again. It's a ship. It is a Viking ship that has seen better days. You can see the sail. It's a little bit worn. Uh, it's Mally's torn sail design. I think it looks awesome. Looks really cool. Sorry about that. Um, when we started building this, we didn't really realize how tall it was going to be. That is um, a villager breeder cell. I guess we can go up there. If I can ender ball. Fail. Splash. Alright. We can do it this way. Go. Cut that. Nope. Miss again. I don't think I can get up there from here. It's a villager breeder cell. It's not an uh, infinite breeder loop. It's just a basic one. And, um... Yeah, as you can saw, Mally said the, the Viking ship's invading the base. That's, that's why it's coming in the back side of the island. And there's no dock here. The villager breeder cell is for loading up our iron golem farm, which is over here. Um, we haven't skinned that yet. It is functional. There are three cells. There's one up there. <laughs> Just saw the iron golem fall through. <laughs> there's one here. And there's one underground, actually. Um... So yeah, there are three functioning cells, but we're going to add, um, we're going to, you know, skin it as a tower so it's not just like three floating things. And then we're going to add more around, more of these towers around so that we have tons of iron, more than we'll ever need in the world. And, uh, so we need more villagers, which is why we have that. So, um, until we get done with that portion of the build... Unfortunately, it's going to have to stay there above our awesome... Oh, I just fell down the ravine. Awesome Viking ship. There we go. I hope you guys like it. Tell me what you think. Um, I think I like it a lot. Oh, we changed the eye. I don't... From the time lapse, we didn't... We had just used a, a chocolate wood piece there, but no. We changed that with gold. We think, we think that's better. little eyeball on it. Alright, well... Um, Mickey should be getting on. We're going to go head over to his place, take a look around. I'll see you there. So I just am making it to Mickey's place. Uh, he's got this por portal. This is a track. This is not a portal. This is his track to the KFC. It looks really awesome. It's the whole, it's this pattern all the way there. So here's Mickey. Hey man, how's it going? Good, I think. <laughs> you think? I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. Looks like you're um, missing a portal here. Yeah, I don't use this portal. It's, this portal goes to my old base, so... Oh, shit. Sure. Alright, well, where are we headed? Um, I think we should just... <clears throat> uh, excuse me, start by going to the old place and take a look at... Sounds good. Piggy. Kitty. <laughs> I pet your kitty with my sword. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that giggle and say, yes! <laughs> I love kids. Um, so yeah, this um, is basically the first place I made. I, the idea to start with was to make it hidden inside a mountain, but... I kind of, <clears throat> what should I call it, got tired of walking out this way. This was a hidden door, so I got ki kind of tired of going to... <laughs> I'm confused! Uh... I 
thought you were going to strike me with your sword for a second. I was like, oh my gosh. So is there anything else around here? I'm going upstairs. Um, yeah, let's go upstairs. And this is basically where I had all my chests, but I kind of realized that I, no one in the world is going to need that many chests. We've got a couple of iron doors here. Um, oh, yeah, <laughs> I kind of ripped out the whole stronghold. <laughs> I also Just took all the iron bars. I stole some of your arrows. So um, the first yeah, just need arrows right? I got. I, I I don't know how many double chests I have from my farm. Yeah, I've got a lot of my scaly farm too. Whenever I see arrows, I have the urge just to top off whatever stack I have in my inventory. All right, cool. Anything else here? Um, in here I had my old potion room. It's been disassembled. I don't use any of this up here anymore, so... so oh, ooh, goodies. Mm. <laughs> just kidding, I'm not going to steal your potions. Cool. So if we go out here, you can also see here the thing I was talking about, getting tire tired of going out the door all the way, so I just made a... Who's like, let me just dig a hole in the middle of my base. That way creepers can walk right into my storage area. Perfect. Yeah, but I'm lighting up my... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so we head over to the new place, maybe? Is there more stuff um, there? I'm getting 10 frames per second, but um, yeah, let's... Let me try reload quickly. Okay. I'm gonna go investigate this. Uh, Look, there's a random button right here. Random buttons. It's not random. I like to push random buttons. Let's push it. it it's for the doll. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Oh, we pushed it. Aha! Oh, there's a random button. Um, so, if we door is that go open? over this way, we get to the... I think the first XP farm that I don't know if any of you used it, but I used I'm it. Guess, yeah, I'm guessing that you did because at one time I think it was the most efficient before we got the ender ender. See you later. <laughs> I was gonna say something else. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Nope, minecarts is still faster even with their dirt tastedness. I don't even look like I'm in my mic car. Oh, did I? <laughs> and this is basically just uh, zombies and skeleton and the uh, cave spider spawner. Holy crap, tackle. All in one. <laughs> oh, you have what? One sp cave spider spawner, one yeah. skeleton, and one zombie. Yeah. That's and then you just stand here, and then the zombies will drop here, so that zombies and skeletons will drop here, so that they are one hit. And the spiders will go over here, where you will cross them, and they will that be one hit too. So. It's awesome. You got a little storage space back here. Yeah. Sorry about the cut. We had a UPS at the door. Packages. Actually, it was FedEx. Is it FedEx? It was FedEx. You want to hear a cheesy joke? Do you? That depends. It's cheesy. Okay. What would happen? If FedEx and UPS merged, the company would be fed up. <laughs> Get it? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, funny. 
He said it was cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Heading over to your new place. Um. Yeah. Let's just take the stairs. I got a button up there. Ah, it's secret. <laughs> I've never seen this place before. Yeah. You don't like watch around. my videos. Places, so. <laughs> but buttons. I catch some of them. I just. But I have a lot of people in my feed, so sometimes I like skim videos, or I'll like be doing something else while I have a video playing. Don't say that out loud. It's true. I am an honest to goodness terrible video watcher. I don't even watch my dad's videos. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> Want some slime? Just... Whoa! Well, we have a pretty productive slime <sighs> farm, but that's 36 right there. It's not bad. It's well, bouncy. I, got, I, got, I got a thing three double chest or something. Nice. It's a bouncy a, room in here. Is this a Ethiopian slime reduction system? Um... It's one like um, with the lava in the corners. Yeah. I don't know if Etho invented it, but I know he used I it. I think he did. Yeah, I think he invented it too. That's pretty cool. I don't know where anyone went. We have a. Come upstairs, there's like a chicken assembly line. <laughs> <laughs> a very humane chicken storage solution. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot more before we killed the dragon. I basically got all the eggs from here. Man, I gotta say, it drove me crazy when I came through and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't freaking <laughs> chicken. It was like lagging my client and the server was freaking out. <laughs> so we mass murdered them all. So we killed them all for a single one and then I ate chicken for two weeks. Oh. Love mycelium farm? Yeah. So up here is my new... It's hard to get up these stairs. It's really hard to get up that. <laughs> Wait, you have three beacons? Um, I got four, but one of them I use for mining. I got haste two on it, so when I use efficiency five, then, you know, I instant break. You would know that if you watch my latest video. <laughs> I'm sorry, please Which forgive me. Which of course me. I've seen, and all of my viewers have seen as well. Of course, <laughs> everybody else knew it. Except for Melly, who doesn't watch YouTube. <laughs> I'm nice. sorry. That's pretty cool. So this is a triple chunk? Um, yeah, I, and the sad thing is that when I was done mining all this out, I realized that I mined too much out, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the yeah. Um, so over here is my latest uh, addition to the place. It's a uh, bread maker. You start with the seed, right? Uh, yeah, and and you stand where the lever is. That's pretty cool. Uh, it jammed. Um, and then he's my next. Go ahead and break the oh. Go all the way. I see. Let's see. Yeah. I have two more seeds. One seed. <clears throat> See the idea? Oh, I need a piece of bone. I need to keep these. Why do I keep getting a seed? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you do not have a seed. One piece of bone meal. And then you go like this. There we go. Yeah, these are cool. Who designs this? Um, ex ex Exuma Void, I That's believe cool. it was. It's cool. He built some co really cool stuff. I yeah. think it was uh, Exuma Void who just built a one-handed mushroom farm. I think that was. I think that's the right guy. <clears throat> and up here we have my storage room. Nice. Ooh. Oh, shoot. There we go. Diamond swords. Nearly, I nearly don't have any uh, iron left because I made the beacons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy diamond swords. 
You're welcome to use our. our <laughs> yeah, I wanted a looting three sword, but I. <laughs> Can I pay for this one? I I only got about two stacks of iron blocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're yeah you're welcome to use the iron golem part that we have. It's not totally complete, but I think I, there's. I did like... I did go there, but where is it used? Need to stand? Is it at the bottom? Bottom or? <clears throat> yeah, we don't have a auto killing mechanism installed yet. Yeah, it's manual. So you have to go into the bottom of the thing and then <laughs> kill all of them with your sword. Yeah, we have to finish that. Cool. These That's are nice. nice little storage nooks. I like them. The item frames. Are Oh. Yeah. Iron frames have made storage areas so much nicer. Yeah, the bad thing is just that you can shoot them off with arrows or ender pearls. That's the that? only advantage of using signs. Yeah. I never realized you could shoot them off with arrows. Yeah. I never accidentally do that. Where'd Nelly go? There's an upstairs. Oh. <clears throat> It's not completely done yet. No oh, more. Mm. It's up here. I got most of the, or half of the, junk from the trap when I harvested gunpowder. Oh, uh -huh. this is where your beacons are. Yeah, they are the, at the bottom. I just figured out because some of the things looked really different. I could figure what it was. <laughs> um. That's cool. I like I like the look of the beacon, but having them hidden is there's something to that. Come cool. On. I finger pearl through your ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> They're no longer inside of that room. Uh, hmm. Good job. I don't know where I am anymore. I'm like, Oh, here we go. I found a hole. Well, that's pretty cool. Is there much more out here? Um, not around here. I still got the the trap, but it's not really a part of my base. But I can show that if. Yeah. That was a. I liked it. it was... Is it a walk? Um, no, it's the. I got a portal. Okay. Well, let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and head out to that trap. I'd love to show it. I've seen it a couple of times, but I want my viewers to see it. So uh, we'll catch up with everybody there. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. It's a piston drop farm, right? Um, yeah. Uh, I basically use the same design as, uh, as the Enderman farm. Yeah, OK. And then the the idea is that you stand on top of the on a platform high above the ocean surface. So, um, and uh, if you oh, stand one hundred, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> if you stand one hundred and twenty eight blocks above the above the water, then no no mobs will spawn down in the cave, so that basically takes out the need of having the caves lit up. Yeah. And that was how I got the tumble chest of TNT. I'm just not sure if that's enough for the perimeter. <laughs> you have to go to that. Digging that's out at the... At the KFC? Oh. Um, no, I'm digging out at the Wither yeah. Skull Skeleton Farm. It's a good idea. Increase the productivity. Yeah, yeah I'm planning to dig out the. Oh, jeez. I almost <laughs> jumped off. <laughs> the slider's a bit long. <laughs> yeah. You need to stand here. So you stand up here on this platform. And then they also. Oh, so actually, up here <laughs> on top of the ladder. Oh, that's the right spot, I see. These are. are these have. Oh, this is the way. 
What's with the shape? Why is that there? Um, on the thing above. Oh. Below. But there's um, like the. The arrow thing. Yeah. Um, I I basically have the thing. That half cut off is that's because the farm before it was turned so that it um, went this way. Basically, the, we have a had a row here, um, but in the 1.4.4, 1 1.4.4 was it, or was it five? I'm not sure. Um, they made a change that. If any mob or player landed in half a block of water, then from any height they cannot die. So I had to change the orientation of the farm. Because they also changed that the items, when a mob dry, die, then the items will go a specific direction. Like you see there, the gunpowder will go this way. Yeah, they get a specific momentum associated to them. Alright, yeah, so the, the monsters aren't up there. They get pushed off. They land on the iron gate. The yeah. iron fence here. The items get collected on an ice way. They go around here. Down a hole. Yeah, well, I can place up a hole. And the one jump down there. What? No. Wanna jump down there. I don't want to go down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't want to go down there. Nikki did. <laughs> there is water at the bottom, so you can't you can't die. So, and this basically leads to a AFK stream that takes the items outside of the loaded chunks. So. Sorry. They will not despawn. So I then I have a portal. You go in, and that leads to the end of the AFK stream, and you can collect the items. Okay. So, so you're not using the Nether to store? Um, no, I think I can do it now, but before the patch, it made too much lag. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I crashed the <coughs> server. Oh right, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, there's a free let you get all your stuff. <coughs> just Reload. take it. I just took it. There wasn't much. <coughs> um, you don't have an item stacker here. You should put an item stacker here. You just put. Uh, if you put an upside down stair, like right here on this uh, cobblestone, then yeah. as the items get here, they'll bounce off of it, and as they bounce. As long as they have momentum, they'll try to stack with similar items. It'll reduce the entity count in the world. So. Wasn't they in a stack? I, don't know. I mean, they were relatively stacked, but they weren't completely stacked. Doing that, <clears throat> you get everything like will guarantee to stack. So. Okay. It's a pretty cool... It's a new trick. It's... They implemented a fix in one four four. Yeah, I think. I think Etho had the problem with his wool farm, yeah. wool room in the yeah. latest episode. Yeah, in his wool room, he had a problem, and that problem also causes this to be possible. So yeah, the neat, kind of a neat uh, fix or a bug or a feature. I don't know what it should be called. Alright, well, hey, thanks for the trip around your place. Um, that's You're welcome. Mickey FP. Uh, your YouTube channel is. Mickey Minor. Mickey Minor. So, youtube.com slash Mickey Minor. And I'll drop that in the video description. So, go check him out. He built some pretty cool technical stuff. Uh, we're gonna. <laughs> I think we gotta go back to the house. But thanks for the tour. Um, you're welcome. All right. Catch you later, man. Yeah.
Melly said, start recording and come over to the cow farm. So, alright. Recording and cow farm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, I've shown you guys Machu Picchu before. <laughs> I told you they've all through the world. 